what are our frameworks? It's expanding our standards for students in this population. It's grades three through eight in high school. It is the Common Core State Standards in Math and English Language Arts. So remember, English Language Arts is the collapsed reading and writing. In Washington, we're still working with the science ELERS. There are three levels of complexity, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about what that means, and they're consistent. And they're aligned to the Common Core State Standards and Essential Elements. So, again, what we're doing here is we're expanding the Common Core to give access to as many children as possible. And we're looking at a continuum of complexity. Math and English language arts, again, that's that common core language of domain level and strand level. And that's their organizing structures. So if you think about it this way, sort of as an upside down triangle or a sideways triangle if we narrow things down. So there are five domains in math. Depending on the grade level or the content area, there's somewhere between five and seven standards in each domain. So for example, sixth grade math, I believe, has 37 standards. That's a lot. We did not build frameworks for all of those. So students who are not in this population are going to be taught knowledge and skills that are aligned to and associated with all 37 of those. And we felt it would be most appropriate to have, we have to have enough of a breadth, right? So we have one standard for each domain. So we go from 37 to 5. Pretty reasonable. But what we can do now is we can provide opportunity for educators to have something clearly articulated in all the areas that you teach as opposed to something kind of narrow. So we have access frameworks for math, and you'll see them in, we have one for each of the domains. We have geometry, numbers operations, measurement and data, and so on. And I'll show you what they look like. We have the same thing in English language arts. You go from huge to we pulled one that was most appropriate that would work for our students. And we took our science dealers and we workshopped them into the same space. So I'm going to show you a lot of graphics that you'll keep seeing over and over again. And you have this slide. Again, if you can't read the fine print detail, you don't really need to. These are really extensive standards. But I just want you to see the graphic, really, the representation. 